Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac with me, your host, McLaffy Taffy, and we random Isaac, which is fine by me. Uh, I'll take the D6. I poo-pooed it the last game, not to say, oh, I don't like the D6, I don't want to use the D6. I do remember saying, though, oh, is Kane, it's really nice because we just have to take the items that are given to us. And then we started off with Polyphemus, and then we started off with uh, the Sad Onion, and we were happy, and we thought nothing could go wrong, and it would stay that way forever, and then it didn't stay that way forever. And instead of being happy in, in love and happy in finance with all of the things that we had, we actually plateaued pretty much getting our best items after the basement part two. Or, or no, I'm sorry, getting our best items at the basement part two and then really just kind of plateauing and taking kind of uh, middling trash after middling trash after that. So, I will happily take, uh, well, I'll first and foremost take the D6, pick up Lemon Mishap, set it right back down, re-roll it, and probably walk out of here, yeah, you know what, not probably, definitely walk out of here with the Spelunkers hat. Uh, obviously don't like that as much as the x-ray specs because it gives me the ability, you know, x-ray specs give me the ability to s just waltz in to uh, places where the secret room is, secret room are, secret rooms are, well, yeah, waltz into the places where the secret rooms are, um, but at the same time it's nice to always know where they are, or where, where, where they exist. Looks like we're gonna have to make time for some Larry Jr. shit. That said, I'd... I, I'm 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 in, a, I'm in a place where I've taken a lot of damage versus LJ in the recent recent past, and I'd kind of like to not do that anymore. Uh, I, I I guess I lost sight of the fact that he can in fact be a problematic boss to fight if you don't fight him well, and that's kind of where I am now. Where it's just like, okay, well, the smart thing obviously to do is to take out the smaller segment first, and then you all you have to do is really focus on the larger segment and not let yourself get pinned into a corner because nobody puts Isaac in a corner. And now from here, I feel relatively solid about our chances of being able to knock this guy out of the park because it's fucking Larry Jr. So at this point, it really is all just a matter of time and effort. And I really wish that he would cooperate with me because there's no way that a Larry Jr. fight should be taking nearly as long as this one is. Please just die. I will actually put myself in harm's way now to expedite the process of this fight. Yeah, we don't have any way to reroll anything. We don't have any keys, can't go to the shop, don't have any money. I could use a bomb to look for the secret room. I probably will. I'll use one. You know what? These are always so... Tr okay. I'll use one to look in the obvious spot. But after that, I'm not using it anymore. Because after that, I'm going to find out that it was actually in the bottom left-hand corner. Or is underneath the boss room or some stupid bullshit like that. The first floor's... Uh, Secret room is never where it appears to be. It's always in some wackadoo spot that's hiding off in the middle of nowhere. All right, so we... Oh, I get... Oh, I'm an idiot. I had Spelunker's helmet. It would have told me if it was in that spot. All right, well, we get nine cents out of this one. I probably should have just walked around until... Uh, I'm a doofus. Whatever. Not the end of the world. One wasted bomb and one item room later. Or one uh, secret room later. Probably could have gotten a little extra cash out of it. But if one item room makes or breaks your run, you are walking a razor thin line to begin with. Let's just see if we can use, uh, let's see if we can get some consumables first, because we are, oh, we are not exactly flush with them at the moment. There's part of me that's almost wanting to play this dangerous with these spiders so that I can get my spirit heart gone so that I can walk into the, uh, curse room over here. But then again, I guess if I'm feeling that cavalier and, uh, free and easy with my health, I might as well just do it anyway. Oh. Uh, don't flinch. Oh, I just lost my key. But then I got some range, I guess, is what I took away from that. So we lost the spirit heart, that's fine. We have lots of red hearts on the floor. We can replenish health until we get to our boss fight. I don't have a key, even though I just picked up a key. That sucks. <clears throat> so now we're on the hunt for consumables again, because that bomber bombs are key. Shoo. Sorry, with you in a s Ah, fuck me, running. Yeah, there's no getting around that. What are you going to do? I didn't expect the one on the far right to sort of juke and stutter step and come back to me. I thought he would stay on his path of sort of doing that half circle around the rock like the one that I just illustrated so beautifully. Um, you know, and, and once again, almost like the curse rooms and everything, this is one of those situations where the super duper secret room could be helpful or it could just be... I gotta take it. Because I don't have the bombs to get back in. Alright, so I gotta take it. I gotta not get hit on this boss fight. 
I have no keys, I have no bombs, so I'll have to leave everything behind if I... I have to leave everything behind, is basically what it boils down to. Um, unless I get the crate. The crate would be stellar. I'd probably use it to go to the item room for the guaranteed half-decent item. I'm going to try to bait this guy into crushing his spider, which he didn't do. Uh, but at least he's not launching anymore. <sighs> oh, they tried to they tried to get me roped in. I saw him. I saw them colluding. I saw them working together, Trixie Hobbses. Um, we do have a reroll. I'm gonna reroll that. Take the health up. <clears throat> Come in here. I almost wish that I'd rerolled this because a one heart whatever uh, would probably be really good. But right now that one heart whatever is the monster Manuel, and I don't want that. But we did come out of this floor with two health upgrades and a range up. I guess that's fine. I mean, it's not great. I'm not happy. We get keys right off the bat, which is almost immeasurably important. There's nothing worse than having Isaac having rerolls and not being able to use any of them because of lack of consumables. And this shouldn't be a terribly damning... Uh, mob trap room. We should get what silkworms into serial rapists into turrets. I think if I'm not 100% mistook. So from here we will just kind of knock all these little clay face looking imitators down. Shoot the puddles. There's part of me that's real trigger shy right now because my last run with oh god okay okay this sucks. Oh, come on. Homing shots. Why, why are you over overpowered? So, all of a sudden, starting to feel like paranautical activity. I just feel like everything's a homing shot and it's out to get me. Alright, well. Uh, we managed to get out of here relatively unscathed. Uh, we'll go straight into the shop and pick up the ladder. The ladder will pay for itself. Uh, there's no guarantee of the ability of flight to show up. Uh, which is weird. I feel like for the longest time, that was an item you didn't really have to sweat getting. Like, you would come across a Lord of the Pit or a Spirit of the Night or uh, Holy Grail or something. And now, recently, it's been like, man, I can't believe I found a flying item. I feel like I picked up a, a rare trading card or something like that. And I just want to show it to all my friends. Alright, so we'll try to use these guys against themselves. Yeah, there we go. Now we can not only get into the secret shoot. Shoop. I, I speak Swedish now. The secret ship. Uh, but we can also get into the... Uh, we can get into the, the secret room and also pick up uh, whatever lies within this beautiful chest right here. Which is another range up. That's fine. As long as they're positive pills. We instantly replenish our coffers with a little bit of disposable income thanks to the well, absolutely free secret room. And... Um, now we start looking for... Oh, God. Now we start looking for damage ups. Uh, I desperately need uh, damage ups. I, I would take a, a tears upgrade. I would take I'd take just about anything. I mean, we're in the infancy of the run here, so uh, at this point, any 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 item is a good item, really, as long as it's a beneficial item. Uh, it, it's kind of foolhardy to sort of start to compile a list of like, oh, these are the things I want, and then it's just basically every positive item in the game. So it's like, uh, yeah, of course you do, Taffy. Thank you for cluing us in. Now we can all feel involved in your decision-making process. He said to no one in particular. Two range-ups. We still don't have the ability to shoot this guy from across the room. I will uh, incite the... Jiminy Christ, these are some stout flies. The neutral flies, just to see if their poop holds anything valuable. I'm like an archaeologist. Looking for all sorts of interesting poop all over the world. Well, don't I feel foolish save ourselves some bombs but I've already got the Splunker's helmet I need other things rage I'll think about it we'll see if I get rerolls at least it's a sort of damage up if if a really shitty one I'll take a shitload of spirit hearts though that's a-ok -okay in my book yeah I mean I would have preferred to have gotten the x-ray goggles first it's a nightmare situation to be offered one and then the other it's like you know I Probably would have been much happier with the x-ray specs in the beginning and it becomes kind of a great big fuck you middle finger from the troll engine to get them like that after it's already given me the spelunkers helmet, so That's alright. We rerolled it. If we take rage, it will actually not be the worst thing that's ever happened to us 
Uh, if we don't have to take Rage, that's so much the better. Uh, but I'm afraid of re-rolling it now because I'm afraid of getting an active item that I don't want to necessarily take with me. Please be something good. Hey, more Spirit Hearts. That's... That's A-OK, -okay because so many of those have had just spiders and other such nonsense in them recently that I'm a little bit trigger shy. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's what I was looking for. <clears throat> so ultimately, all I'm really looking for, without sitting here and boring you with a laundry list of actual items I'd like to pick up, is a successful run. I'm just looking for a successful run at this point. I've, I've been up against it the last couple of runs. Orbital. Uh, right up. Fuck you. Looking for an orbital. Looking for a deal with the devil. Hell, I take a deal with the angel. That's a nice old dynamic that we haven't had to cover in a while. Oh, he's pending me in. Um, yeah, we haven't had to deal with to deal with the angels for a while, so I would not mind that at all. Man, oh man. Having a hard time getting through his bodyguards. I am happy to get the key of meat, though. That's something that defensive orbitals have been missing from our runs of late, and it makes the game so much harder, and you never think about it until you don't have them. Uh, and then it becomes a huge issue. So we'll whittle Pestilence down. Not Pestilence. We'll whittle... Yeah. Pestilence down. Take our cube of meat. Hopefully get a deal with the devil. I prefer a deal with the angels because we didn't take anything that first that first room. Uh, we didn't take anything that first deal with the devil room. So that, that option's still open to us. Instead, we get the gigantic middle finger from the troll engine. Uh, we'll go back and re-roll. Do we re-roll rage or do we just take it? I'm tempted to take it, man. I'm not happy about it, but it beats leaving here with nothing. Ah, let's go big. Fuck. Should have taken Rage. Why? Because it beats leaving here with nothing. Alright, well, we make our choice. We live with it. Let's move on. Hopefully regroup on the next level. Hopefully get Caves Part 2. That'd be swell by me. Surprising lack of uh, tinted rocks on this floor. Or all floors for that matter. I would love the small rock. Small rock's a damage up that I always enjoy that doesn't seem to be showing up all that frequently in my runs of late. I'll 100% try this out and get money. I say money I don't necessarily need, but it's enough money to make going to the shop worthwhile, so I can't poo-poo it. Uh, it saves me doing the scavenger hunt when I ultimately find out that there's something that I'd like in there, like the compass. Let's see, after this we get turrets. So it's these guys. Oh, it's, uh, the bullet shooting grubs followed by walking tumors. And then followed by the turrets. That's alright. Love getting in these mob trap rooms early. I'm hoping that we have a legitimate shop. I, I mentally just don't feel like messing with greed right now. I desperately need need damage ups. Uh, you know me, man. The longer I'm the longer I'm forced to dodge in a situation, the worse I'm probably gonna handle it. I think Cuban Meat took that one on the nose for us. Alright, one last time. Let's get this over with. Build up our D6. Look for the next room. Save some bombs. That's nice. Uh, I'll probably go fight the boss right now. I'm not going to be in a much better spot thanks to the rest of Catacombs Part 2. You know, just based off a of one item room pickup. That's not going to make the difference uh, in this fight, especially with the amount of health we have. So let's go ahead and knock this out. We've got nine bombs too, so maybe it's somebody we can exploit. Um... We got the hollow, but we got the hollow in a situation where they don't have anywhere to hide. There's no uh, rock maze, there's no clutter on the ground, no obstruction, no cover, no, no place for them to seek refuge. Uh, so I don't really feel... I was going to use bombs and stuff to sort of expedite this process, but now it just is me taking on pattern recognition, which, as I was saying, that almost turned into an issue. The only problem with the hollow is that they have a tendency to change patterns in the middle of flight, and that uh, becomes a problem. Same thing as Larry Jr. though, I probably should just focus on one until it's done. And then after that's over I can deal with the infinitely easy uh, to deal with longer segment. Instead of trying to multitask and let them both come at me. Kinda look like monkfish. If you've ever had monkfish, it's the world's most delicious and ugly fish. I'm just happy it wasn't Krampus. Alright, so we're gonna get a one heart something out of this, I hope. Yep, one heart spirit of the night. That's 100% happening. And I will... Uh, try my best to get a reroll for Cat of Nine Fails. Ability to fly. Oh, this feels really good. This is going to eliminate a lot of headache on these floors. Um, 
God, in retrospect, I wish I'd taken, uh, not just Rage, but I wish I'd just taken the stupid, uh, X-Ray goggles, or X-Ray specs. It would have saved me, uh, a lot of bombs and a bit of a headache when it comes to just getting in and out of these rooms. Oh well. So is life, I guess. <clears throat> so let's take our... Ooh, two of diamonds. Take a bomb, set it down. I don't know what I'd hope for in here. I guess, uh... I guess a slot machine. I literally have no desire to sit there and pump coins into a slot machine. My time is valuable. <clears throat> I'm no... Ow, oh, shit. That was really bad dodging on my part. I'm no Las Vegas slot jockey. I got things to do, places to be. If we were considerably low on any one thing, I would worry about it. We have an orbital. We have uh, money. We have pretty decent health. Um, everything, let's put it this way, everything we need is not necessarily anything that the that the slot machine is going to give us. We could pick up more keys. We could pick up more money. We could pick up more spirit hearts or even a couple of pretty flies, but it's not like we're in a place where we have to have any of those things. We'll 100% take the map. And I'll take the key for three cents. I'll try to burn this fire out and see if I can find a penny that makes not necessarily picking up the tarot card vi viable, but I just like knowing that I could buy another item. I guess we're in a place where we're looking to reroll Cat and Nine Tails. I would love to find the item room and have it be something amazing so that I could just not worry about it. I'm 100% looking here because it's only going to cost us a half a heart to get in and out. There we go. Nice. So we made a profit. Let's take our reroll back. Boost up the Cat of Nine Tails. See what item is handed to us and how we may, in fact, turn that into an advantage for us the rest of the way. I'd love the compass. I'm going to round out my little cartography set. I'll take the health up. I'm not going to look at Gift Horse in the mouth. We may need these rerolls for the item room, which apparently is going to be at the very bottom on either the left or the right. Ladder has been rendered obsolete, but that's fine. We still use it because we're resourceful. One nice thing about being able to fly when you're fighting fistulas is that you can take them out over the over the gaps with more increasing uh, regularity because obviously you're already there and it's hard, hard to angle them that way when you're um, standing on dry land. Dry land's not a myth, I've seen it. I synced it. So by the time we get down here uh, to do our but, eh. How about this? What if we use these guys to blow open the door and then we go through it and then we save this room to fight in case we need a reroll and then we have three rooms for a reroll and we didn't even waste a bomb to do it. I'm feeling kind of okay about that because if that room on the far left of the map is actually a room where we can do combat then between this and the mini boss room uh, we actually uh, could garner a reroll for a really shitty item room item. So uh, while I'm not going to spend a crazy amount of time min-maxing, I will happily take a peek in here. And it looks like that's going to be exactly what we do for the hourglass. Every vanilla run's been like a challenge run of late. So let's go ahead and we'll fight our rooms now. Hopefully that one on the far left actually contains an opponent. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it, uh, my sort of stock commentary right now is to talk about what we could use to change and improve our run, but uh, in all honesty, other than the ability to fly, nothing has really altered that much since the last time I went back to that well. So, after this, I got to get out and record some Don't Starve, which I'm really excited about. My first real test in winter, and uh, we started a Don't Starve world uh, on the on the stream, which I'm oh god, I'm getting pinballed so hard right now. Um, really excited about getting into Don't Starve. Now that I understand it, like that's a game that I hated playing. Uh, I only played it because so many people gave me such a hard time about. Oh, Tap, you play Don't Starve. We want to see it on the cave, and I was like, okay, your wish is my command. And then the views were pretty decent, and the the fandom was pretty. Uh, the fandom was pretty. I don't want to say voracious. Voracious is the wrong word, but uh, the people who were fans of Don't Starve were very energetic about letting me know it. In a good way. I don't want to make that sound like, 
Oh, these guys were total dicks. They were all up on my jock about playing Don't Starve. They were, but it was in a, hey, Taffy, we really like this new game that you're playing. So, uh, I kept playing it, I kept playing it, and I found that it's definitely one of those games that you, the more, oh, there's my, there's my reroll. It's definitely one of those games where it's like the more you know about it, the better time you're going to have. And that doesn't, I mean, that sounds kind of like, oh, okay, of course that's the case. But it really is like uh, a situation where the your enjoyment of the game goes up exponentially based on the amount of knowledge that you have. And the joy that you feel in discovering things in the game is not proportionate to the displeasure you feel when you lose because you didn't know something so it actually benefits you you have a better time if you go study up a little bit i had fun in learning a little bit about the first parts but uh after the after the new war off a little bit on that i was just like whatever send me to the wiki i am over this um all i wanted was information i wanted to know how to win uh, i didn't want you know it's, it's like minecraft it's not like you're gonna go pick up a cheat code for it it's, you're not gonna basically pick oh shit you're not going to go pick up a walkthrough for this thing, but you you can figure out uh, how other people have done it and how you would like to approach it. Anyway, that's a huge, huge conversation about Don't Starve that I didn't really plan on having, but it looms large in my mind. Book of Belial. Well, it's a reroll pedestal. Necropolis. Going to be a big floor, man. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do about using it effectively. I had Polyphemus on my last run, and now I'm just so happy to have... Oh, God, I'm so happy to have small tears uh, that are manageable and come out in a decent rate of fire. That, oh, I didn't think I got hit there. I knew I was going to get hit there. I don't know why I let myself get pinned in the corner. These Wrath of the Lamb floors are just uh, unforgiving. Unforgiving is sin. And I have been taking a ridiculous amount of bad... I don't know. Yeah, it's bad damage. It's me just thinking I could probably... Uh, tap dance through shots. It makes me wonder, did I used to not take bad damage or did I just take bad damage and I was less surprised by it before? Because now I feel like every floor I go into, I feel if I'm ever hit, I feel like I did something wrong. And I know that that's un unrealistic, but it feels that way to me where I'm just like, I can't believe I got hit. What did I do wrong? Something must have gone wrong. Coin purse is so... Sack of pennies, man. It's too little too late. There's only a couple floors left. I'll take Robo Baby. That's a damage output. And it helps on things like fire since I've got these spectral tiers. So we'll uh, we'll use it for that and then we'll know that we have the Book of Belial hiding out inside the secret room so we can reroll that pedestal now as we pick up... Uh, oh. I am going to let these guys do the dirty work for me. This is an awful, awful room. So these guys uh, can either hop into the blue spikes for me. Or they can walk into my line of fire here. Nope. One of them got smart. There we go. Oh, ability to fly. Why are you so stinking important? Walk in here to get a pill. The pill is... Tears down. I still have this two of diamonds that I never used. What a doofus. That's fine, I guess. At some point, we'll use it. Tears down is such a heartbreaker. It's just takes one of the few things you can't afford to lose like tears tears tear shot output or yeah your tear output and your health are like the two things that this game really can't afford to fuck with especially if you haven't had any upgrades yet and then for it to take something like that away is just like ugh. there are days that, like if you have a really bad stretch of isaac for a couple of days then it'll put you off playing it for a couple days more it, it's it's a game that can get you in real in real streaks so you can get real uh, emotionally compromised about this game if it goes wrong for a while. Alright, uh, Necropolis 1 means we're not going to have a second item room. We are going to have a shitload of rerolls at our disposal, though. Uh, now what am I looking for? I'm looking for the Sad Onion. I'm looking for uh, Magic Mushroom, which is an item we haven't seen in what feels like forever. Oh, Jesus God. There we go. Um, we are looking for... I don't know. Max's head. We are looking for a coin purse filled with reroll options. We are happily going to go reroll the Book of Belial. I'll burn through some bombs to make this happen. It'll make me upset. I'm not too put out by that. I don't know if I can reroll that. I, I, I want to say that every time I try to reroll the one up, it just rerolls as the one up again. I guess we can try one. 
We can try one reroll and see what happens. I'm kind of hoping that the boss room isn't down here on the bottom left. No, it's not. Okay. Spectral Tears super helpful in a room like this. Um, this room would be a... It, it isn't would be. It is a total nightmare when you're in a situation where you don't have the ability to fire through the rocks here. <clears throat> you can use the... I mean, you know... Well, you can't use them for cover. They can use they can use them for cover and fire through them. So, it, you know, it feels only fair that you should take yourself in there and do it as well. Uh, penny for a key does not seem like a very good trade. Bomb for free. In this situation, doesn't really necessarily feel like such a good trade. We did get a, a damage up in the odd mushroom, which took away some of our speed, which for once is not so high that I feel really comfortable with it. Um... It did give us a health up as well, which I'm not going to be upset about. I still am looking to parlay a, a deal with the devil, so... We'll take care of these leapers. We'll get the... Uh, the zombies next, and fortunately, uh, Robo Baby's going to help us sort of parse that out, so... Unfortunately, he doesn't do dick all for damage, but, you know, he's there. He's putting in effort. I'm not going to sit there and shit on his work when I'm not doing a whole lot better. We are. Let's see if we can get them lined up a little bit. It should be relatively painless the rest of the way through. I would love like a skeleton key or something. Nah, eh, one key at a time, I guess. All right, good. Now we know we don't have to come back down here. We know that there's no secret rooms down here. Um, so from here on out, we'll you know just be able to work the top left and top right quadrants of the map and not have to worry about backtracking very much, which is helpful if you're me and you're super lazy. And I am pretty lazy. Like, I'm, I'm a really lazy guy when it comes to, like, basically just having to do stuff like this over and over and over again. And as far as, like, I don't want to go all the way back. Uh -huh. Please re-roll into something. Bob's Rotten Head. Alright, well, at least we know we can keep re-rolling now. I'm so angry! He always feels very sort of like he holds that thing up above his head like he's about to make a point. This is another place where the ability to fly is uh, immeasurably important. I actually want to see if I can scare him off. There we go. Oh, God. There we are. Just one at a time. Nice. I, it's always a, like a really sweet little victory when you knock out one of these massive infamy hearts. And uh, the mass that disappears is the one that's immediately closest to you. Especially if it's one that's like bearing down on you. It has a real Hollywood uh, sort of at the last second... Oh my god, it's going to hit us, sort of deus ex machina feel to it. It's like, oh, of course, it saves them, you know, at the last second by hitting hitting them when they needed it most. Not sure exactly what I was talking about there. I was just saying it, it's a nice sort of, like, Hollywood-style last-minute save when a uh, massive infamy is bearing down on you and you're shooting a heart and there's one in four chance and then all of a sudden that massive infamy just disappears, like, right next to your head. Okay, um... Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, jeez. This room makes me sad. Alright. We're gonna... We're gonna try to get rid of the neutral flies. Oh, God. Okay. I'm playing like asshole. Alright. Let's just... Not and say we did. Not and say we did. Come on. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Can we be friends? Come on, bicycle helmet. Let's just let's play nice, man. Spirit of love and everything. What a dick. All right. Uh, now that he's dead, I hated him. Never liked him. Let's go back. Reroll the item pedestal inside of our super high max secret deeper. I almost blew myself up with the bomb there. I mean, at the. Whatever. I don't want the onk, man. I don't want to come back as the blue baby. This is my official DNR, do not resuscitate Isaac form. If I go down in the heat of battle, you leave me there. It's a, it's a personal choice. You don't get to make it for me. If I go down, you don't bring me back as blue baby. That's the same as bring me back as a vegetable with a feeding tube. You leave me my dignity and let me stay in the ground. I had literally zero interest in fighting those things, so I decided to let the... Uh, Asshole turrets do the work for me. Not a choice I regret in the slightest. Although I do hate being here. 
I do hate that my only place to go was actually actively under fire when I reached it, so um, I left to my safe zone, and my safe zone had bombs incoming. Alright. 100% with all the hearts laying around, gonna go ahead and check this place out. Love spiders, big fan. The University of Richmond spiders, that is. <laughs> Sorry. In a real hokey, corny, awful joke mood, I guess. This is where we are today. Some days it's highbrow, some days it's uh, with an impressive vernacular, and some days it's always followed by my sort of shitty Jim Carrey Fire Marshal Bill laugh. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got our. Uh, I'm so slow. Okay, we've got our reroll here. Oh wow, that thing came back fast. Man, please let me get something because I kind of don't want to go to the shop. I know that there's gonna be greed in there. I know I have to go through the blue spike rooms. I know I'm really slow. Pyro, 99 bombs. If you have an explosive problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bomb ain't one. Hit me. I stand by that. I stand by that musical rendition. You're actually kind of welcome I did that. Alright. Just sneak on through. Oh my god, I've never been so happy to see anyone in my life. Oh, I'm so, so thrilled to see you. Please pay me out with something that changes my feelings about this game in general. Just anything, really. Don't be shy. Anything at all. Anything besides that. Come on. Take it all at once, man. I'm, I'm gonna go in the shop and be confronted with greed anyway. Let's go. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful you'll be helpful. Come on. I am hopeful you'll be helpful. Hey, there we go. There's a health up. That's totally fine. A health up for uh, it's like eight cents. Greed? Yeah. Oh man, it's super greed. Uh, it's super greed. I have made a serious error coming here. Oh man. Okay. Just jump into the fucking bomb. Thank you. I have so many bombs. Just please walk into any of them. Can I bomb my way out? I can't. Alright. We'll use our tears too. I just thought I'd expedite the process a little bit by uh, blasting him in the face with high explosives. Alright, so super greed's down. We'll get rid of some of the greed heads. Collect some of my money I left over here with all my blood. That's where I keep my money and my car keys. Pick up that extra cent the game decided to sort of tongue in cheek reward us with like an ass. Oh, okay. Uh, turret. We gotta use the turret to our advantage. And that is exactly what I'm talking about, man. Just let the room work itself over. So now we want one there. That's a good one. Now we want one here. It's like Smokey and the Bandit. Use it against him. Oh, that's a double shot. Good for you. Thank you, turret. You are not the asshole I thought you were. 99 bombs. I haven't seen Pyro in a long time. Is it just me? Has it been a long time since you've seen... Okay. I'm going to take it because I'm not walking back here. That is a long-ass walk. That is a long walk. Let's go back and fight our boss. I have faith. We have the ability to fly. Shit, we may not take it out, out past these blue turrets. There we go. God, those are always so terrifying, especially when you've had a speed down like we have. All right, well, I mean, overall it was a moderately productive floor. God, we got Pyro. I'm still kind of geeked about that. It's like a rare bird sighting. I'm not leaving here with this. I'm not leaving here with this health. I'm not leaving here with this health. Oh, there it goes. I am not leaving here with a lot of bombs, too. I'm going to use bombs basically to kill Bloat. Because I have them. And because if I don't, he's going to fucking murder me. So that's that's how we're fighting Bloat. We have so many bombs, and he may have them all. Oh, fuck. Alright, well. Ah, this is terrifying. Why are you so scary, Bloat? Well, at least he took out some of his minions there. Ugh. Yep. Alright, we'll just hang out up here, drop a bomb like right now. Nope. Oh, this is so fucking scary. 
I can't. I just. I can't. I can't even think about shooting right now. I'm just. This is the worst bloat ever. I mean, like, this particular brand of bloat is bad. Oh, thank God. I won't reroll the speed up. I kind of need it. Oh, my shoulders hurt right now. What a shitty fight that was. All right, let's get out of here. At least we're through with it, though. Here's the depths part two. We know we're getting mom. If we're lucky, we'll get the not shitty mom. Uh, this is, I was going to say, this has to be a, a real shop because we just fought Greed on the last floor. I am so tempted. I'm probably gonna. Let's see if we can use the rerolls on the item room. Uh, but I'm probably gonna roll out of here with blue candle. Just, you know, D6 be damned. Fat lot of good it's done me in my last couple of runs. Um, I mean, a lot of the good stuff that I have from this run is because of the blue candle. Uh, not the blue candle, but the, uh, because of the, uh, uh D6. But that said, I don't, I don't feel so indebted to the D6 that I'm willing to throw away one of the best defensive and offensive weapons in the game. Uh, in a place where we need help to have a, a really decent run right now and uh, nothing about it is a foregone conclusion and uh, I'm not taking anything for granted right now so if having the d6 means or having the d6 is nice and everything but having the blue candle at this point honestly feels a little bit better I'm kind of a little bit over uh, a little bit over just kind of feeling like I'm always at the mercy of hoping that the game's going to hand me my next great item and then, you know, you want the D6 because the D6 obviously is a, is a great thing and you can get so much done with it while you're in the chest and everything, but I'm starting to find that if you don't make it to the chest, then your chances of using the D6 in the chest drop dramatically from like 100% to like 0%. So, I'm going to stop worrying about the D6 like it's... Uh, gifted to us from God on high. I'm gonna start acting like maybe I want to survive all the way through the cathedral because that hasn't happened necessarily in uh, every other room. Every other run, sorry. There we go. Let's go ahead and. Hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, goodbye, Spirit Heart. It was fun. Barely knew ye. I mean, if you got this many bombs, right? Oh, God. Might as well use them to simplify things a little. Uh, what's going on in here? Anything I give a shit about? I could use a trinket. I want, Like I said, I won't play these things for no good reason, but I, I'll, I'll play this until it gives me any trinket, basically. I'd love the crystal ball at this point. Well, I wouldn't. I'd pop, I'd pop it once, but... I am about... To, I am leaving this floor with the blue candle, because that's going to really... Simplify the shit out of my mom fights. Ah, burnt pen. Oh, well, burnt penny's about the only trinket I don't need. I was I was happy there for a second because normally any of the pennies is a good thing, but well, shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, just give me shit helmet right off the bat. Nope. All right, we're gonna leave. We're good. Thanks though. Um, I don't feel any obligation to go in those rooms. None whatsoever. I'm going to use this D6 on the item room. Which is right here. Huzzah. Uh, you know what? I don't know why I'm being sparing with the... Oh, okay. Just not interested today, huh? There we go. I don't know why I'm being sparing with the bombs. I might as well think of the bombs as a tears upgrade because that's how often I'm going to use them. Good night, honey. Um... Oh, Jesus God, stop, go, move. Do something. There we are. Let's take a peek. Uh, is that triple shot? That's triple shot, isn't it? Whatever, it's a passive tier effect. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, triple shot. That's something, man. That's something something we can hang our hat on. So let's, uh, 100% gonna go and take you and you and even you are all welcome. I might use the hermit to see if I can get a deal with the devil on this next uh, next fight. Oh, blue candle. Where have you been all my life? Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, I don't feel so impotent anymore. And I mean, I felt impotent before. There we are. 
Ability to fly, Spectral Tears, Blue Candle. Um, we have one defensive orbital. I would prefer to have more, but beggars can't be choosers, and I'm in a pretty decent spot right now. Oh, I almost dodged right into that. Come on, Bombfly, don't. Don't be all fasnickety. Help me help you, Bombfly. Bombfly. Thank you. Oh, stop firing, asshole. War's over. All right. Um. All right. Here's. A, oh, Jesus. God, these guys are fast. And oh, let's see if we can do one to grow on here. One to grow on. Nice. So my apparently sort of uh, fresh face action hero tagline. And one to grow on. All right. Uh, let's hope for not champion mom. It's not champion mom. Sweet. Asking you shall receive, apparently. Oh, it's gonna help so much with boss control or with mob control. Uh, because I've recently just not been able to handle the mobs that have been coming out on this. It's just been, uh, I've been a subpar player when it comes to that. And I don't really know exactly what or why. It's just felt like they've been coming at a pace that I can't possibly, uh, possibly stop them. Oh, I fucked that up. Alright, well, here we go. At least we don't run the risk of her hitting us in the head. Um,. I don't think a deal with the devil was going down in here, but let's take a look-see and find out. We'll walk back. Sorry, D6. I love you to death, but you've not done very much to impress me this run, so I am going to leave you the hell behind. Deal with the devil? Big money, no whammy? Stops? On a whammy. Alright, that's fine. Alright, I guess sadly we have to leave the burnt penny behind and take our mere 77 bombs with us. We get Curse of Darkness. Not an ideal situation, but whatever. I have literally no zero reason to want to fight you. Uh, we're on Utero 1. This, 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 this would suck. Without, without any sort of apology or explanation as to why, it would just suck. So hard without what we picked up in the blue candle. I'm so happy right now. Oh, we have the ability to actually do a little bit of work. I, I, I desperately want to take this and turn it into a successful run, and now I feel like we have the means to do it, and it makes me happy in my heart. Cuba me, you know what you gotta do. Joker, Uter 1. Let's find out what we got. You know what I could go for here is, uh... A D6. I could use a D6. I don't need I don't need Horror Babylon. I mean, I'm not anywhere remotely close to being down to one heart. I, I'll leave it for now. Uh, that sucks. Oh well. Nope. Oh, let's see. There we are. That clears up that. God, I haven't used the blue candle in forever, man. Here's our super duper secret room. Tears down doesn't sound very useful. What I meant to say is here is our super duper secret room. And in it we find a slot machine. I don't need this money anymore. Strength? Okay, I'll take a strength card over a tears down pill. I am indeed throwing my life away. And I probably will die alone. Oh god, it's like you know me. Um, yeah, what am I doing? I don't want to do this. Let's go this way. Oh. Oh. Opa. That worked out pretty well. What do you got here? Big money, no whammy? Bad trip. Alright. Continue not doing me that many favors, game. Although, I still continue to not be upset with you too badly because... Well, because blue candle. That said, I did just trade a key for a bomb. Not necessarily in a situation where I need that many bombs anymore. Oh, where'd you come from? I hate Curse of Darkness floors, man. I, I, I dislike them very much. I don't like not knowing exactly where I'm going. Can't know where you're going if you don't know where you've been. And other such platitudes. I'm actually really confused as to where I am right now. I, I'm, I'm kind of stalling for time, so I don't know which way to go. I, oh, I guess here. Oh, triple shot. Spiders can eat it. Eat the peen. Uh, no real desire to play the blood bank. 
yeah, at this point, I'm just, uh, I guess there's a library here, is what it looks like. I, I thought for sure this was the only route we had left to go. I'm not really sure where we have left to get stuff done here. Um, I've managed to turn myself around with the deal with the devil move and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused and lost and frightened. I'm going to go in here and get rid of the telepathy for dummies. And I'm going to get rid of the book of Rev. Take my blue candle back and get the hell out of Dodge. Alright, well, we're still in a situation where we're trying to figure out exactly where it is we're going. I guess to the right? Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. That worked just fine. Oh, hey! Those things take multiple blue candle shots. Like champs. Oh, God. Troll everything. That's that. I'm going to poke my head in here if it's not a gold... It is a golden chest. Let's open it. Yeah, let's not open it. Can we, get, can we go ahead and get her? Can we get a refund? Some sort of buyback program? I'd like to not have to fight this room now. I'm usually a completionist, and today I'm feeling very... Uh, can't be can't be bothered with the uh, trivialities of the Binding of Isaac, like the the stuff that normally is like eh, it's kind of a task, but you never know what's gonna happen. And then there's like today is just very much kind of a eh, I can't I can't be forced to deal with you right now. You are taking up an entirely too much of my time. Rooms that aren't gonna benefit me greatly. I'm only interested if your room has a door with a key on it, or a big skull. Or is gold framed? Those are the rooms I care about today. I can only care about one room at a time, and today's not your day. Wow, that blue candle shot really missed, huh? Wait! Sorry, um, my keyboard stopped working, and I'm not rightly sure why. I just started hearing my, uh, I just started hearing my Windows mount sort of, not Malfunction's the wrong word, but like my windows alert of like something's going wrong and the next thing I knew is Isaac wouldn't move So I took a, a un, an unnecessary hit of damage there, but not a whole lot that could be done uh, You you may even hear it in the recording. I don't know if you'll hear the the bling 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 song that it gave me um, Yeah, that's frustrating there we Go I just uh Want to try to eliminate these threats as much as I can. It would be embarrassing to me to take too much too much damage from Blastasis, the one mob in the game that I feel like it's it's like a, the Premier League in football that I feel like maybe it should have its boss status revoked after a, a couple of years of of uh, less than impressive play at a at a pro status. Maybe it should be forced to go back down. Let's go fight anybody. We get our second level cube of meat. No. Yes? Yes. Yes, we will. We'll get our second level cube of meat, which works out just fine for me. Um, I would love to have more orbitals, but I guess there's just not a whole lot that can be done about that. Thanks to the blue candle, this fight's going to sort itself out pretty quick. I forgot how powerful this thing is, man. Like, I just... I always see it, and I think to myself, oh, it's not as good as I remember it being. I just have romanticized it in my head to say, like, oh, yeah, the blue candle, that's that's game over, man. Um, but it actually is every bit as good. There's part of me that wants to take Whore Babylon for no good reason other than what if we come across Guppy's paw somewhere? Um, I can't justify it, though. All right, so we got our second level cube of meat. We'll go down to the womb part two. Hopefully, we will not have a curse of darkness. Um, let's go up here. Eh, sure, what the hell. I don't care much about you, slot machine. Hey, pretty fly. I care a lot about you, slot machine. You're my best friend, and I've always said positive things about you. Um, I'll take all this free money, I guess, and get out. Play this again, just because. Because now we have the cash for it, and... Uh, that yeah man I forgot how powerful the blue candle is that makes me super happy uh, and you know it's not anything where we just bought the run it's just uh, we, we stand a chance now man there's part of me that really wants to use this golden key for something really I can't whatever not enough to stick around let's go 
All right, so we'll uh, continue to use bombs here. We have a litany of tools at our disposal right now. Um, we have bombs. We have the blue candle, which we will 100% use in unison with the... Oh, God. We will 100% use in, in sort of concert with uh, our bombs. There's that. Our bombs are, are going to really kind of take... Oh, fuck. Larry, we not fight in front of the kids? Uh, our bombs are really going to take off, considering the fact that we have triple shot shit. I didn't know you were there. Find that kind of... Button matching like a fiend right now. I'd love to stop this woman before she gets all the way up to... Uh... I'd really love to, to get this woman reined in before she goes to Chubb. She's going to get Chubb. She's going to get Chubb. She's gonna get to Chubb as a boss, though. There's not not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, well, there there's, there was a lot I could do about that, and I didn't uh, through bad play and sort of uh, mediocre dodging and, and placement of bombs and whatnot. I've really not simplified the process for us any. So we will uh, continue to just blow through. Hey, we have 69 bombs. Oh, it's been one of those kinds of days. I'm laughing at 69 jokes. So we'll just keep baiting him in. Drop these down. Wow, man, my my uh my bomb shots are way off right now. Happily rather deal with uh, bullet flies when I have the, the blue candle than have to be dealing with uh, a zombie that's walking around. There we go. That's fine. We'll take the half heart because it gives us the ability to have a little bit of permanent polar permanent. It gives us a, the ability to have a little bit of polar invincibility. Unicorn horn is a fine item. Not as good as the blue candle, though. I'm gonna assume that our boss room's on the far right. That seems like a safe bet. All right, well, uh, that opened up the floor for us, so we can get these uh, get these shots and blue candle shots. In. Ah, damn it! Ah. There we are. At this point, I mean, if I got to do some landscaping to deal with these guys, and so be it. I gotta get some rocks out of the way, burn through some bombs. There we are. Strength, Hierophant, even better. We'll take those, and I'll, like, remind me to use strength on, on our boss fight here. Oh, fuck me running. Just put the shots on. Alright, let's see what we can line up here. Oh, I thought he was gonna keep coming. That didn't work. All right, my, I'm not, I'm not positioning any of these well. There, that worked. Not really. Used to be kind of a ah, uh, used to be kind of a knuckleballer and would just sink really nice blue candle shots in, and now uh, doesn't seem like that's so much the case. So I'm gonna use blue candle, I think, on monster. I think that'll end up doing more damage quick, more quickly. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just be faster to do this. Wow, I felt like Robo Baby's shot there was a little bit intense. Uh, maybe it will be one there, one there, and then we rotate, and then we have to actually stop. Okay, well this is I'm turning this into like something that is much more complicated than it really is. So we're gonna center him, so we'll not fire for once, and then we'll fire every time now, and I'll hold him in the middle, sort of in stasis. Uh, whereas I, the way I was doing it, yeah, I think it might have been maximum damage output, but eventually it was going to pin Monster 2 up against the wall. Uh, and that's where shit starts to go awry is when Monster 2 breaks out of formation here. There we go, at least that's over. Let's see what we got going. Oh, I thought that was a better shot than it was. Oh, there's so much going on in this fight. Oh, God, just die. There we go. Oh, we've already burned through our two hero font. Uh, our two Hierophant hearts. That's unfortunate. But the game gives us one right back. Please be, as I say, please be the Isaac fight. We, we needed, we needed an Isaac now more than ever. Alright, cool. This is panning out relatively well. I don't know, man. Uh, odds, I give us about 60-40 of getting through this fight. Mom's Pearl sounds great, in theory. We go through here. Oh, I guess I probably should have popped, popped in and seen I tell you what, if I survive this, if I survive this, then I will go and I will check out the super, du super duper secret room before I leave uh, before I leave the floor. But, uh, as for right now, I've got bigger fish to fry. 
Oh, I thought I got in there. I would love to drop bombs. Uh, I got more rhymes than the Bible's got psalms. Um, I would love to drop bombs, but I, I don't have permanent Polaroid invincibility, so it doesn't do me as much good to get up close, because I'm basically just going to lose more health than I'm going to do damage. Oh, God, okay. Man, those homing shots are right in on me. Even with, uh, even with the blue candle, man, this is still a super tough fight uh, with the items that we have. So, uh, the blue candle, all it's done, all the blue candle has done is made this fight possible to win. Um, if we keep dropping shots on Isaac, we should be okay. If we don't get sidetracked and try to do anything too fancy. Oh, shit. Okay. Now we gotta focus. I mean, ultimately, it... Fuck, okay, stop taking damage. Angel fetuses are making this incredibly too difficult. Or, not incredibly too difficult. English, Ryan, do you speak it? Uh, they're making it entirely harder than it needs to be. Um, wow, we are actually in a n unsafe place here. We are strangers in a foreign land. I love the rains down in Africa. Meow, you bitches. Oh. I don't know why Toto came out of me there. Now you know my secret. Airplane noises and Toto references. Alright, let's, um... Uh... Oh, my throat's dry. I'm parched. This run has me tired. Whew. Let's take a peek. I guess. I mean... I could use the spirit hearts. I can't exactly get a different trinket. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to do this like two or three more times. I don't... Nothing I'm going to get here is going to make a huge difference. Alright, I'm... Yeah, I'm done with you. Over it. Let's go to the chest. At least we made it to the chest. That feels like a, a victory in and of itself. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Ramen noodles were repeating there for a second. Uh, three cents. Excellent. I got my slot machine money back. There's ten bombs. It's a bomb rich run. Peeps eye, which we'll take. Maybe we're going to take the ten bombs too. I just like looking at them for a second. Uh, kamikaze, which we won't take. And Dead Sea Scrolls, which we won't take. But I'm going to pop it here in case I get Book of Rev. Uh, if I wanted to, apparently I could have used the shovel there. Get rid of Kamikaze. All right, let's. I mean, let's let's try. We're gonna give it our our old our old college try here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Little little bit problematic. Little bit problematic. Famine. I'm gonna need you to calm your shit. We got other things going on right now that have nothing to do with you. We're gonna die like this. Because of a champion war, really? That seems unlikely. Wow, none, nothing about that hit him, huh? Alright, blue candle. Oh, he's got so much health. Oh, please hold still. Just stop moving. Like, just hold still. Like, all I'm asking you to do is to stop moving. Like, hold still like a normal war horse of the apocalypse would. Just don't move for a second. Oh my god. You're infuriating. Please, just get on the ground and stay there. What a dick. Oh my god, you're so close right now. It means that if I get if I hit you, you're gonna do the hay thing and hit me back, and that's I can't I have no desire to let you be the death of me. You're 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 not worthy. You're not worthy of my blood. Wow, that was so much more work than I thought it would be. Okay. No. Yeah, I hear you, Chubs. You guys are the, the fat, slow Chubs, and that's saying something. That's fine, though. I, you, you're, you're exactly who I wanted to see at a time like this. Once again, yeah, Blue Candle, not, not exactly a guaranteed game-saving item. It's just making sure that I have a little bit of time to myself before I die. Oh, my God. All right, well, we took two shots there. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you both! This is the worst combination of horsemen ever. Oh my god. Just somebody be somewhere other than up my anus. Ugh. Are you nearly finished? Thank you. Honestly. I can't believe I'm having this much trouble with horsemen. Horsemen, we're we talking about practice. Just, 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 just stop. Oh my God! Watch, watch this not be the right way. I'm not dying to a spider. I'm not dying to a spider. I would kill for scapular right now. All of a sudden, 
or the umbilical cord. All these shitty things that I always take for granted, now all of a sudden they seem very important to me. Uh, two husks. Oh god, please don't let this be it. Oh, just get rid of one, Taffy. Get rid of one, Taffy. Get rid of one. Get rid of one. Just get rid of one, Taffy. That's one. One down. Oh, God. This isn't the way. Okay. Backtracking. So it's going to be all the way to the far right. Man, oh, man, oh, man. All right. Whew. Feeling a little dejected, not going to lie. Ah, uh, this is where we die. I... Uh... Am I wishing I took the one up at this point? Probably. Probably wishing I did. I'm starting to regret that DNR. Oh, man. Post-game stretch. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, ultimately, I, I, I don't... Seriously, I don't know if the... I don't know if a, a, a full health would have helped us there. It might have. I don't know. I guess so. I just mean very slowly not wanting to admit that I probably made a mistake not taking that one up. But I never thought I'd... Oh, I, I didn't think I would die and have a chance to come back in a place where I'd have that much health. So, either way, thank you guys for tuning in. On behalf of the Mr. Wiffles channel in the cave, my name is Taffy. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we will see you again tomorrow. I am out.